Hello, welcome. Welcome to Instagram Live. We are about to get started. Hi, this is Dr. Suhas Kshir Sagar. Namaste. Welcome. So we're going to talk about the healing response today. And this is Dr. Suhas Sagar. I welcome all of you. We will get started in another minute. I hope everybody is doing good, staying healthy, safe and happy. Just a few more seconds and we'll get started. Namaste. This is Dr. Suhas Kshir Sagar, and I welcome all of you to Instagram Live. And on behalf of the Chopra Center, I welcome all of you to our 21 day meditation. So, this unique program that we are offering, and this time Deepak is joined by Jay Baldwin, which is, who is an award winning Grammy artist, and more importantly, they together will lead us onto a journey into healing. I think this topic of this meditation, the 21 day meditation is very timely and very important. We are talking about renewing our body, mind and spirit, especially in the light of the pandemic that is going on currently. This is a very, very important discussion. And I welcome all of you, especially because we need to probably talk more about how the body heals, how does the body repairs itself, and more importantly, what is the role of meditation in terms of health and healing and general well-being, and why at this time we are having so much of scientific evidence that we can gather that can effectively and intelligently talk about the benefit of meditation, what it does to you as a person for your inner response to any diseases or even improving a state of your health and well-being. Uh, recently, uh, there was an article uh, that Deepak wrote that got published with some very eminent scientists in the field about the value of yoga, Ayurveda, meditation in terms of the prevention and management of COVID-19. I think it's a very, very important and eye-opener scientific research article. But today, what I'm going to talk about is, is this 21 day meditation that we are going to do with all of you, is how we are going to explore the amazing intelligence of body's innate healing response. Whenever we encounter an imbalance, such as cut on a finger or a seasonal cold, our immune systems automatically respond with messages to over trillions of cells to rebalance, heal and renew. The healing response is in itself a proof that we are all self healers. But by connecting our minds and spirits with the same fundamental intelligence of nature that our bodies use, we can 
fully support the healing process and make ourselves as master self healers. So the message is about meditation and how does it invoke the inner intelligence in your body. So let's talk about it from an Ayurvedic perspective. Ayurveda has always talked about it as a consciousness based approach to health and healing. So what happens when you close your eyes, when you take your awareness deep inside using a mantra, using a process of meditating, diving deep within yourself. What you are doing is you are literally transcending the edges and the boundaries of your physical body and go down to the depth of the building blocks of your innate creation. We have heard these terms quite a bit now, which is called as quantum physics and quantum mechanical body. But now we have reached to a stage where we are talking about not only quantum physics, but we are talking about quantum biology, quantum chemistry. These sciences at that deepest level of functioning. So if you pay attention to quanta, what it is, it is the smallest unit of matter and energy, which is about one to 10 million times smaller than the actual size of an atom. It's about one to 10 million times smaller than the unit, the, the size of the atom. So you're talking about at that level where the matter and energy is interchangeable. You're talking about the deepest level of the body where it completely transcends the physical form of the body and remains into a cosmic dust like particulate matter. And at that level, you are actually exchanging and interchanging with the most orderly field of consciousness. You are connecting yourself with the outside field of intelligence. And when you bring in and invoke that intelligence for your own functioning of the physiology and reset the pattern, you are slowly healing the body at that level. It's a healing response. It's a response which when you close your eyes and start meditating at that level of quantum fluctuations, you're able to address what I said, quantum biology, quantum chemistry, quantum physics, everything can be addressed. And then the chaotic functioning, which sometimes can lead to diseases is very much negated. We often talk about what are the causes of diseases but we hardly ever talk about what are the causes of health. And I think what I often tell to my patients, um, how to take care of yourself. We talk about uh, pure, clean food, healthy diet, positive lifestyle, good quality sleep, exercise. But one recommendation which I often tell them is to start meditating at the earliest. Because meditation is one of the most effective process which will affect the functioning of your physiology in so many different ways. It is perfectly tailor-made for every individual's need, no matter what age you are, what body type you are, no matter what part of the world you are living, no matter uh, race, color, caste, creed, religion. It is something which transcends all those limitations and it is a technique through which you are able to access and invoke the inner intelligence of the body where healing from within is possible. And body is an intricate machine. It's an intricate machine which does millions and millions of activities uh, in a given second all the time. And even though we have known quite a bit about how the body functions, what are the organs, organ systems, atoms, molecules, cells and tissues, we haven't known enough about how the body functions to a greater level and how the body organizes a healing response to anything. As we were talking about, if you have a superficial cut somewhere and that cut needs to be healed, the bleeding needs to stop. That mechanism is such a complex mechanism for the body to rush the intelligence to that area, to initiate a clotting process where so many different networks of intelligence are working together in order to make that happen. When you eat food, for example, you are eating baby carrots, broccoli or bread or whatever you're eating, that food needs to get converted into your cells and tissues. 
you are borrowing the intelligence from mother nature whether it's water or food that needs to get converted into the building blocks of the body and that process is very very complex and that complex process is very orderly hippocrates once said that only nature does the healing no fee, no physician no doctor can can do the healing only nature does the healing when you have a fracture for example you break your bone uh, you go to an emergency room and they can set the bones together they can bring it close together so that the nature does its magic and it's an astonishing miracle that how the nature organizes to set the bone together and create a healing process so talking about this there are millions and millions of activities that are happening at a given second in the body as i said um, creating a baby digesting food uh, pulsating heart carrying the electrical impulses from the brain to different parts of the body it's a network of intelligence and with meditation you're tapping into that very network of intelligence through which you're going to manage and regulate quite a few of these things one of the terms that uh, deepak has been using for some time and it is becoming uh, an accepted scientific term which is called as self directed biological transformation so it's a self directed biological transformation with your attention and intention you are able to reset the healing mechanisms within the body you're going to initiate a healing response and we see that and this is being documented with numerous studies that people when they start meditating uh, it affects their blood pressure it affects their heart rate it affects their respiratory rate it even lowers their metabolic rate so many times in 20 minute meditation you get a deeper quality rest than what you don't even get enough from your sleep as well and there are so many benefits of this not only this but when you tap into the inner intelligence of your body when you dive within yourself your body is giving you the signals you're tapping into the signals of your body and when you draw your attention to those areas where are discomfort or blockages in the body itself or creating a discomfort or disease it slowly starts addressing and releasing the blockage with just your attention that's one good part of this but the second important part is that as you start paying attention to everything how your body is feeling and you are more connected inward you are more mindful you are more self referral as we call it and this self referral quality is trying to feel how your body is feeling at a given moment and how your body is beginning to heal with your attention within and i think this is a very interesting point we use a term in medicine called as interoceptive awareness and that interoceptive awareness when you pay attention to inwards it starts creating something what we call it as self regulation and that self regulation is a homeostatic response that the body starts adjusting maybe to cool down the inflammation or to reduce uh, pain or blockage or discomfort or heartburn or uh, too much of anxiety that is making it difficult for you to sleep so many subtle imbalances that are happening in the body with your attention with your meditative practices slowly starts readjusting itself and another important benefit that we see and it is elaborately described in various yogic text that it actually makes your mind prone to choose the right things for yourself when you come out of the meditation it is not that only during those 20 minute that you're functioning while you are meditating but that meditative state that you carry with everywhere for the rest of the day the way you select your food the way you select your activities it actually programs you to become a healthier happier person the choices that you make the company that you keep the movies that you watch the books that you read uh, the places that you shop slowly starts reprogramming every aspect of your life and i think this is high time that we talk about the benefit that is not only confined to one area or a disease why do we need to meditate for cancer or why do we need to meditate to reversal of the heart disease 
I think this is time that we are talking about the response from the host to any disease. Let me repeat this. Response from the host to any disease is a very important concept and it is an accepted scientific term now. Because when the host is able to control, for example, just to take uh, this COVID-19 example right now, when we are exposed to this virus, which is very virulent, which has viral toxicity, and the body has to respond to that. And when your body is blocked, congested, inflamed already, then you respond to this uh, external stimulation in a very hostile, aggressive way, which generate what we call it is a cytokine storm. And that cytokine storm that is kind of pro-inflammatory markers, whether you talk about uh, TNF-alpha or NK cell activity, all of these immunitary, uh, inflammatory markers go up and the body is becoming more inflamed and starts damaging itself in response to that virus. So imagine through yoga, through breathing exercise, pranayama and meditation, if you have cooled down the inflammation, if the inflammation goes down, then the immunity actually improves and gets better. And then it is able to defend itself. So when we see people having an infection and recovering because they are less inflamed, because they are doing something which is keeping the immunity at its optimum level. And I think this is a very important concept that we are going to talk about. It's not about only inflammation, but so many markers that are scattered everywhere else in the body. Even, even doing yoga or meditation, which regulates the, the vagal network, the vagal tone, as we call it, because it's such an important network of nerve impulses that are scattered in different parts of the body, regulating enzymes and hormones and neuromuscular coordination. It's regulated by the vagus activity. It's almost like a bioelectrical activity that is being regulated by a master coordinator. So we can't talk enough about the benefits of meditation, but there are several things that we are learning painfully enough with the modern medical research. We used to talk about body, cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, maybe certain biochemicals, neurochemicals. But now we know that down to the genetic level, to the to the way the genes behave is exactly how certain health promoting or disease promoting pathways are turned on or turned off. And when you are talking about meditation, when you are getting into that gap in between the thoughts and slowly taking you to the depth of quantum fluctuations from where you are regulating and managing the switches on your genes. And we have, we have proven this by scientific research at the Chopra Center uh, with numerous studies uh, with primordial sound meditations, with self-directed biological transformation, that you upregulated the healthy genes and you downregulate the unhealthy genes. So the disease creating genes are turned off and the health promoting genes are turned off. So at that level, where your genes are responsible for creating certain diseases or disease pathways are kind of nullified. And the funny thing is when you meditate regularly, when you manage your stress more effectively, you're not even aware of it, that you're doing something. Your body is able to do those activities when you think you're doing nothing. When you close your eyes and sit peacefully and do nothing, just allow that mantra to take you in the gap, to slow down the process of thoughts, thinking, from the superficial level of your life to the depth, to the depth, to the depth. And at that level, you are in touch with the inner healing mechanisms, the auto-regulatory feedbacks, the healing biofeedbacks that we talk about, the feedback loop that is going to make you feel healthy and happy as you come out of the meditation, you are restfully alert. You are alert, you're feeling restful, you're feeling peaceful, and more importantly, the body has effectively addressed so many neural networks and pathways in your deeper states of meditation that you're not even aware what, what has happened. 
We have proven that with so many gadgets, with the heart rate variability, with the blood pressures, with the heart rhythms, with the inflammatory markers, or the EKG activity that you're doing, uh, what the brain waves are doing at that time, or the EEG activity, what is calibrated with the brain waves. You're able to actually see that because of this activity that you're doing, you are influencing the inner involuntary healing mechanisms of your body. And this was an old school thought that you cannot address the involuntary mechanisms of your blood pressure or heart rate or uh, various uh, waves in your brain as such. I think this is suddenly becoming more and more prominent and I think this is the time that uh, this specific meditation that we're talking about, renewing your body, renewing your mind and renewing your spirit or soul and creating and cultivating that experience which is very powerful in nature. There's another interesting point that uh, I would like to share with all of you is more related with when you're talking about various systems they all fuse at certain point. For example, recently we started talking about the enteric nervous system and the central nervous system. They are all talking to each other in your gut, in your large intestine, in your digestive area. So the immune system, the enteric nervous system, the, the nervous system itself, their central nervous system, they are all talking to each other. At this level, it's almost like a network. They are on eavesdropping on each other's activity. And this network of intelligence that is scattered everywhere else can be regulated with meditation very effectively. The very motto of Ayurveda and Ayurvedic medicine is Ayurvedo Amritana, Ayurveda for immortality. And I think the purpose for any physician, any healer is to take their patients on a journey of self-repair, self-healing homeostatic regulation, self-awareness leading to self-regulation. This is, I think, very, very important. And we haven't talked enough about this in medicine. This is what we call it as a spiritual medicine. But I think this is something which is non-religious, completely secular, and it's going to allow your body to calibrate. One good thing about meditation is uh, you don't have to tell what it should be doing. It is smart enough, the activity and the effect of that activity is so smart that it knows exactly the given need of a given physiology and slowly calibrates itself as per the need of the physiology is. And that is what we call it as infinitely intelligent activity of the body. You are in connection with the intelligence. And the benefit that I have seen in my clinical practice, when people meditate, they respond to everything much much better several folds higher whether you're talking about herbs and spices whether you talk about natural medicine whether you talk about conventional western medicines drugs or chemotherapy even surgeries when people meditate their response to any healing modalities becomes stronger and i think this is something that's not a waste of time but this is a great use of your time this is a great investment. If this is something which is going to make you choose the right thing for yourself, because you are incubating in your body, you're sitting with your mind drawn inward and you are incubating this idea of what is right for you. And your body comes out and tells you and guides you and make you do the choices which are absolutely right for you. So this is something, uh, a unique aspect that we often talk about when I see patients in my practice, I see that, why are you drinking? Why are you smoking? Why are you eating good or bad foods? And the root cause of all of that, nobody wants to lead an unhealthy lifestyle. Nobody wants to do things which they clearly know are not good for them. But the root cause of that, it comes from unhappiness. They're unhappy with their job. They have job dissatisfaction. They're pressed with finances, money. They're unhappy with their relationship. If the seed cause of anything is ignorance and unhappiness, then meditation actually resets that and helps you understand what is right. What is the bigger picture? What are the priorities in life? And especially with Deepak and Jay Balvin, they're coming together from maybe a diverse field of the activities or the work that they do. 
but they come together in order to really help you understand the sacred response, the healing response, the, the creative response of the body that you need to tap in. And every single person is capable of doing that. Even a baby is able to do that. Even a middle-aged person can do that. And you are allowing yourself in tapping with that thing. The job is to align your individual spirit with the cosmic spirit during meditation, to align your individual breath with the cosmic breath and your individual self, soul with the cosmic soul. And this non-local exchange, as we talk about, that non-local exchange that we're talking about is going to align your body and improve the functioning of your cells and tissues. You will notice that many of the bio biomarkers that we often check in the lab work would improve with the, the change in your outlook, the change in the choices that you're making. More importantly, how your body responds to everything. Because the environment outside where you live affects your inner environment. The outside environment affects your inner environment. We call it as epigenetics. So how you live is affecting how your genes behave inside the body. So when you're meditating, when you're doing maybe yoga or pranayama or breathing exercise, eating cleaner foods, going to bed at a proper time, trying to cultivate and regulate your emotional health. And I think one of the biggest benefit of meditation is, and there's a new branch in medicine that has come out, which is called as neuroendocrino psychoimmunology, which simply means that the psycho neuroimmune system is so importantly regulated with the activity of meditation. The stressful thoughts, patterns, negative feedback loops are slowly disappearing and giving way to positive connection. It is almost rearranging your brain to a certain extent with neurogenesis, neuroplasticity, new neural connections that are happening. And during meditation, all of these things are happening at a, at a nervous system level, at a cellular level, even at a genetic level. And when we, when we talk about the, the way the body heals itself and the way the, the healing response is happening to anything that you're doing, is slowly dissolving those emotional blockages, the challenges that we feel that are stopping us from finding our true nature, the blockages that are not allowing us to find our true happiness, which is non-sensorial happiness. Our happiness should not depend upon senses. And as you close your eyes and you withdraw your senses, you're tapping into the inner state of bliss, what we call it as Satchit Ananda. And from that field of realization, from that field of manifestation, that field of quantum fluctuations, you come out, you bounce back, and you do that as if you're bathing your mind, you're purifying your mind, you're doing a purification of your mind and emotions and creating a rejuvenating experience for your body, for your cells, for your tissues. There is enough documentation that talks about you can reverse your aging process with a regular practice of meditation. Those people who practice meditation regularly, not only the, the markers for aging go down, but also how they look and feel. The youthfulness, the clarity of your senses, the stability of your intellect. These are things that are easily accomplished and attained when you develop a habit of doing a regular meditation practice. Very importantly, as we lead you on this journey into healing with the 21 day meditation challenge with Deepak and Jay Balvin, one thing we are going to notice is that as we start practicing it, it is a, there's a little step that we get used to it. The stressful thoughts, the patterns, we being fearful of our own thoughts, how it affects our physiology. And it's just a matter of time where that dust settles down. And once that dust settles down, you start wiping the mirror, you start realizing your true self. Who you are is your true self. And Socrates once said that your mind is the root cause of the illness. 
in the body. So as you regulate your mind, as you're watching yourself as a silent witness, your own thought process and thought patterns, you're polishing it, you're galvanizing it, you're minimizing the, the onslaught and the flow of the negative thoughts, you're re-energizing your body. The tissues, the cells, the vitality, ojas as we call them, the flow of energy, which happens when the channels are open, the mind is clear, the senses feel less stressed and healthy and happy because you have withdrawn them for some time and you are reprogramming them. The habits that you are cultivating, the choices that you are making, the way you are looking at your life differently, you create a spiritual outlook, you change your attitude towards the response, the things that used to make you angry do not make you that unhappy or angry anymore. You create a dispassionate degree of detachment. And we can go on and on and on, talk about so many different things because this is what we have seen in our lives and our clinical practice. This is what we see in our patients when we guide them, teach them, tell them to develop this as a practice and experience this yourself when you join us on this 21 day meditation. Because renewing our mind, body and spirit is something which is definitely possible. You are restoring, you are reenacting your self-healing response. We are all self-healers. And again, it goes both ways. We can also create diseases and challenges because of our thought process. And we can reprogram it in a positive way. Everything that you're going to learn, everything that you're going to practice is going to help you Optimize not only your health, but everything that you're going to attract from that field of all possibilities, from that field of orderliness and perfect health that you're tapping in during meditation. And it's going to bring you a lot of abundance, bring you the wealth of health, no doubt, but bring you joy, which is non-sensorial. And cultivate some very, very simple, but very powerful positive emotions. Could be compassion, could be equanimity, could be um, unconditional love. You're slowly improving tenets and the very fabric of your body as you develop this practice. So once again, on behalf of the Chopra Center, I welcome you for this meditative journey with Jay Balvin and Deepak uh, for this 21 day meditation of renewing your body, mind and spirit. Thank you. Namaste.